Welcome everyone, we are at part 4 of my Minecraft creative mode world, and one of the things we're doing is, we're doing a little more building. Yeah, I did a little bit of work on my mansion. Um, the Mountain Alpine Coaster, I'll make the video for that relatively soon. We have, oh my... Yeah, it's having a hard time loading for some reason. Look, considering how huge the museum is, I can understand that. This right here, we have that. But let's see where we're going. Well, we're going inside, and I recently added these walkways and stuff like that because... It's not just going to be a museum of my former Minecraft worlds. It's also going to be a museum for works of art from former Minecraft worlds as well. Yeah, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, we have it all. But yeah, I'm going to make like a special presentation video about it or something. The roof is pretty huge. We have a water elevator. That's pretty cool. This one is up. This one is down. You know what? I'll continue to go down because there is one more place we need to go. And this place we need to go to is way down here. You know what, I'm good. I'm trying to get down here as quick as I can. Mm-hmm. I should totally build like a railway system down here, but that was the tunnel system to get here. This is gonna be the main lobby. Then we have this place, which was the place I showed in a previous episode. Then we have that. It's one of the many ways to get here. A bathroom, as I showed a while ago. But now, one thing I want to do is I want to work on this some more. That's something I would want to do. Oh, I actually got the dam built over here. It's not just some rinky-dinky little dirt wall. It's an actual dam. That, you know, looks actually pretty decent. But yeah, there's no steps in. Which is pretty sad. Oh, I have not swam in this yet. Yeah, I probably need to increase the size of this pool since it's probably really small. But let's see what we need. Okay, let's go and build. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I wonder if I should time-lapse this or not. That's something I wonder if I should time-lapse. But, do you guys enjoy the time-lapses? That's actually something I'm a little confused on. Because if you enjoy them, I'll continue doing them, but I don't know how well you guys are enjoying them. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, we're doing pretty good so far. This world has been advancing at a pretty good rate. 
there are some things that I don't know how I'm going to build them, but I'll at least try. Yeah, that's basically all. But yeah, it's been a relatively slow process building this world. A slow, somewhat grueling process, especially that museum. Mm hmm. Okay, where are we actually going? You know, I feel like a time lapse would be better. Welcome back. This was about 30 minutes of building. What? Uh oh. Oh no. That was locked from the inside. Yeah, that's actually a severe issue. It can actually get locked from the inside. So, yeah, that's a small issue. Yeah, I can get locked from the inside, but don't worry. It's not the end of the world. <sighs> this garage is a five block high ceiling. Doesn't exactly have a way to get to the house yet, but... We have our stairs. Our main area right here. The actual garage. Yeah, let's just fill this up really quick. Because nobody likes seeing an incomplete landscape. And this garage has to be, like, super strong, by the way. Just... This is three blocks of concrete thick. So, yeah, you know it's pretty strong and durable. Yeah, all that is concrete, but that's not enough concrete. Yeah, there was a little bit of an explosive disaster that happened here. But it's not the end of the world. But yeah, I'm going to be building without any time lapses. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But yeah, that's basically what. So far, including the garage, this mansion is going to be five floors by the end of this video. And the thing is, I do recommend you guys subscribe because I only have 25 subscribers. And it hasn't really increased like much at all. So yeah, I recommend you guys subscribe. Okay, let's see this. We have all this. But yeah, may not be the prettiest mansion, but I would say it's a pretty cool mansion. But let's see, we have all this. 
I bet you that museum up there was probably like at least 30,000 blocks of placement, if not maybe even more. But yeah, the museum is now connected with the house. And the house is going to have so many secret rooms. It's going to just have so many. So many you guys probably can't even count that many. And I'm not saying you guys can't count. I'm just saying that there's going to be a crazy amount of secret rooms. But yeah, it's... I don't know what, but it's just... Something about 2021 is just very... Just depressing. Because it's type of year that like nothing is exciting in 2021 it seems like this just seems like the year of just boredom and disappointment but yeah let's see what we have here Yeah, we're just doing this for the walls, give the wall more variety. Eventually we're gonna have to build some sort of like, meeting restaurant place. Cause in all of my Minecraft worlds, I have a restaurant location that me and anyone, me and any of my friends who play in this world, yeah we just meet up there. Yeah, we need, like, one of those locations. This, I'm not sure if it's going to be the kitchen or dining room. Maybe the dining room might be up some, and this might be the kitchen. I'm not exactly sure, but it's still an extreme work of progress. Yeah, we're doing pretty good when it comes to like the actual house itself it's a pretty good house it's absolutely enormous it is probably completely overkill but yeah the reason the ceilings and the walls are in some places are two blocks thick is because sometimes I want to make them different materials, but Minecraft doesn't have like a paint feature where you can just change like the textures easily. So yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. But yeah, once this is done, I'll give a full tour of it, including the secret rooms, and that will be a pretty long time. Yeah, I gotta give it an actually good presentation. Wait. Yeah, I'm trying to make it as symmetrical as possible to the other part. Yeah, this orange concrete is going to be more of like a protective layer around the house. Because this house is going to be like a palace, basically. It's going to be a huge place. It's going to be huge living quarters as well. But yeah. Okay. So far we're doing pretty good when it comes to building this. We need windows on this side of the house, it's obvious. We 
can't just go this way. Yeah, we can't just have a few windows. We need mul we need at least two windows on each side. And that's uh, my rule. Two windows on each side. And I'm going to add stairs. Of course I am. Yes, yeah, stairs are pretty important. And I'm pretty sure I've built three water elevators and only one set of stairs. Well, actually I've built more stairs if you include the Secret Luxury Underground Society Club, which, that thing right there. But, let's see what we have. Okay, we have plenty of space here to build. Mm hmm. Okay, we... Yeah, the more walls we have, and the larger this is, the more impressive it's going to be. Well, since this wall is going to be in the dirt, I don't really know if we actually need... Um... I, I don't even know what I'm saying. I don't know if we need this orange concrete layer around it, since there's going to be more rooms behind it. You know what, I won't put the orange concrete layer behind it. Because it's going to be next to the dirt and nobody's going to see it. Mm -hmm. We have that. Uh -huh. We have more and more walls. I'm fairly certain by the time this thing is done, the room count is going to be in the literal hundreds. And I actually mean like the actual hundreds, like the high hundreds. Wow, this is this is actually a slow method. Yeah, it's one of the methods I used while building the museum, and it took a while, so I just had to do this. Just go straight up and down. It wasn't fast, but it was far faster than that other method. You know, I'll add a third window here. Why not? It's gonna be like a skinny, weird window. Hmm, but I bet the people living here really won't mind when they consider just how big this place is. Hmm. Oh, we gotta fill that area with just plain wood. Because wood is the flooring. Uh, I actually don't think there's a way to get in anymore. Yeah, we gotta put lights in here so monsters don't spawn. Mm -hmm. But I would say this is actually a pretty cool place. It will be a pretty cool dining room when it's done, but it's a pretty sad dining room right at the moment. And this quartz right here, if you remember what material the Secret Luxury Underground Society Club is made out of, this house is definitely connected to it. That's something you'll immediately understand if you think about it a little, a little bit. Wait. Mm, that's a little... You know what, I think that's why I usually put them in the ceiling instead. Yeah, I'd rather put them in the ceiling.
Yeah, that is a better idea, putting them in the ceiling. So they're not as unsightly and just on the floor. But yeah, for the actual club place itself, people won't be able to actually access the deeper levels of it. Because there will be a restriction signs to it, an actual passport type thing. It's going to be pretty cool. Hmm. We have our dining room. Let's block off all natural sunlight to see how it looks on the inside. Actually looks pretty good in there. Cons Why are you in here, sheep? You're not allowed to be in here. But yeah, all I'm going to have to do now is just build some stairs down. Yep, that's all this is, and after this, I'm just going to be done for today. Because I've actually been doing a decent amount of building other than this. That dam over there I've been working on. But yeah, that's about it soon. Yeah, I'm probably gonna just make the wall in there the same material. Why am I changing the ceiling material? I don't get why, but... I'll do it anyway. Let's see what it looks like. Pretty dark, so... Let's do that. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry for the hiccuping. But yeah, we're just gonna... I don't care if those lights are right next to the wall, I'd rather hide these lights. Mm, I'll leave that just there. Now we're gonna need doors after this. And after this, it'll be done. One of the reasons I use birch doors the most is because they have the best design. And I believe they have the best design at least. Oh well, but... Anyway, that is basically all. And... Be sure to subscribe, because I've had a, for some reason I feel like a little tired, I don't exactly know what it is, it's probably just this year, I can't wait until this year is over, but anyway, goodbye, happy new years, and that's basically all.